How's it going, you guys? New Age here with episode uh, of our Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle. I mean, no, Battle Mason. See, I didn't say Battle Spot. I almost said Battle Spot. But, I caught myself. Battle Mason series. And, uh, what are we on? I think we're on our eighth. Uh, it, yeah. So, seven straight wins. So, we're going to eight right now. And we're bringing, we're bringing the same team still. I'm trying to figure out a way to change it. And... I have a lot of series actually that I had to make new teams for and I'm just like drawn blank so I could really use you guys as help with any suggestions at all for to make a team more trolly I would love I would love because I'm searching for things I have a few ideas I have a few ideas for battle spot I have no idea what I'm gonna do to make a new team but to make a trolly team for battle mason that's a little bit easier so I have some things that I'm kind of tinkering with, but I also don't want to send out something that's going to suck and then lose, because we're, we're doing good. We're doing good here. So we're going to uh, see how many people what is that? Uh, people we can mess up. Let's start off with a Gengar. That's scary. So Togekiss, Glasgore, Klefki, we good. Um, let's see. So a lot of a lot of scary things I don't want to deal with. I don't know how worried I am about Skunk Tank. Um, I think I just want to paralyze the Rose Raid, um, and then maybe just go. I want to taunt the Gengar, but I don't really think it's gonna matter. Um, and I kind of want to just go straight for Earthquake. Or actually, I could use Knock Off on Gengar. That would probably be better. Uh, I'm not too worried about Skunk Tank, and uh, I could paralyze Gengar now, or Skunk Tank. I could paralyze. I actually want to go for Light Screen, because I don't know what's going to be coming at me. All right, so Rose Raid use Protect. So, Graham, we don't get to paralyze it. That is one less Pokemon we don't have to worry about while we take a turn to do what we got to do. So, I, I'm okay with that. So, Shadow Ball. That's why I wanted to use Light Screen because I figured uh, Gengar is going to be Hitting pretty hard. Oh, momento. Okay. Uh, on the glass score. <laughs> score. Uh, so knockoff is not gonna do anything. But hey, Skunk Tank is dead, so that's good. And we have foul play on Klefki, so wow, knockoff still did a lot. Okay, so focus sash. Um, we could probably finish off Gengar with uh, with what's a uh, closet. <laughs> With foul play from Klefki. Uh, I would use Earthquake here, but our attack is so low, and I also don't want to risk. Uh, I don't want to risk Ice Beam from the Tentacruel, so I'm actually going to go out into Shedinja and then uh, foul play the Gengar. Hopefully, Gengar doesn't go for Shadow Ball and Gliscor for whatever reason. I figured they'll just keep on hitting Klefki because, for one, it's still there, and two, it's using Hypnosis! No! Alright, well, good news is, I don't think anything will take out Shedinja this turn, and I do have Shadow Sneak, so, there you go, there's the Ice Beam, exactly what I didn't want to see, so, uh, hell, <laughs> no, I do not want to be worrying about that right now, um, well, not me, not me, oh, wait, yeah, it wouldn't go after Glass Bar, that's, anyways, whatever, so, Klefki is asleep, um, I did paralyze the Rose Raid, so I'm gonna try and paraflinch it, so it can't go for Toxic on, uh, on Shedinja while I use Shadow Sneak on Gengar this turn. And then after that I'll probably switch it back out. Um, Thunder Wave would be nice on the Tentacruel as well if I could wake up and do that. Oh, Rose Raid's just straight up paralyzed. Oh, it's trying to use Protect. Okay, so that's good. Um, so Shadow Sneak, that should definitely take out Gengar. So we already got two of the Pokemon down since one of them killed itself. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool um and what oh it has hex okay well that sucks I didn't see that coming honestly um so that's gonna do a uh, hefty amount and I'm definitely gonna switch out Shedinja from here it, Tentacruel with the hex oh my gosh alright Umbreon um Shedinja could do some stuff here but I'm not really gonna worry about that um, let's, let's get rid of this Roserade. Uh, Hex is gonna be coming at Shedinja, so I guess a good time to switch out. No, not really to Glyscore. Dang, I'm gonna, 
I'm in a bit of a situation here. I think I'm actually going to try and paralyze Tentacruel this turn. Um, then switch out into Gliscor. Because I know it's not going for Ice Beam this turn. And then maybe try and wake up and uh, Thunder Wave the Umbreon. With Klecky. Just, just get paralysis all around the board. How's that sound? Make it happen. Oh, I wonder actually Hex will do more against Glasscore because I'm uh, status. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, and I figured Roserade was just going to go for Protect, so I don't even care about that. And I don't care about Klefki being paralyzed because we got Prankster. And at least then, I can't be put to sleep or anything. Uh, we do have Light Screen up though, so even if that did do more, we should be able to take it. So we're good. We are good to go! So now, uh, dang, I'm sorry Klefki, you are just getting status like crazy. I think I'll switch out Klefki for Sableye. Um, I've needed something I could switch out into. And then, like, I can Magic Bounce stuff and all that good things. Um, and let's see, let's see. So, I'm going to Air Slash so I can potentially paralyze Tentacruel and also Earthquake to just kind of try and knock it out, honestly. Then switch out a uh, Klefki for my man Sableye. Let's make it happen. And their team is definitely getting wore down. That I'm pretty sure we've won this one. Um, as long as Tentacruel doesn't take out Gliscor. Even if it does, I mean, maybe. And wow, Air Slash did nothing. But there's Paralysis Chance and Flinch Chance. And Earthquake killed it, so never mind. Alright, we are good to go. Rose Raider is about to die. Oh, Leaf Seed, see? Alright, I'm gonna switch out Gliscor. Um, what are you even? Hello? I'm a Gliscor. Hello? Um, I definitely need Sable out here with the Magic Bounce. They're throwing too much crap at me. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna switch out Gliscor. I'm gonna Air Slash the Rose Raid and just take it out. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna use Heal Bell. I'm gonna take this turn to get everything situated. Uh, cause I figure Rose Rage is just gonna try and use Protect anyways. And Amanda Buzz is the last Pokemon, and I'm not really worried about that. So, heal, switch out Gliscor so I can get rid of this Leech Seed. Um, I guess Shedinja can go down now, even though I don't really want it to, but whatever. And Mega Evolve, get the Will O Wisp off on Amanda Buzz, that would be nice. And then, uh, just call it a day. Actually, Sableye is confused, right? Oh. I mean, I guess now I can still Magic Bounce things, so that's fine. I'd like to burn the Mandibuzz, and then from there I should be fine. Oh, it missed. Okay. Well, that's cool. Alright, then. Hey, there you go. That works, too. See, all these Pokemon have status moves. What the hell is up with this team? Hell no. And uh, you hitting the wrong Pokemon, Umbreon's pair. <laughs> <laughs> that whole turn, you just... <laughs> you just messed up, my boy! Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a lovely... A lovely little set of turns. So I'm gonna air slash the Rose Raid, try and take it out. I guess I'll X scissor the Umbreon so I can hit it with something. And, I don't know, Shadow Ball and the Mandibuzz. Not much I can really even bother to Shadow Ball, but hey, it's something. And now they're down to two Pokemons. We should be good to go. What? Oh, that's right. I, I forgot Magic Bounce doesn't work on the whole field. Well, alright then. I guess it's a good thing uh, Rose Raid is gone now then. I know it's not going to do a lot, but I figured, hey, damage and possibly special defense drop, so I'm cool with that. And Shedinja, you did great. It's time for you to go now, and we can send Glasscore back up on out. And from here, I can actually air slash the Umbreon since it's paralyzed. Try and get that Paraflinch. I can hit it from across the field because I'm using a flying move. And then uh, Glasscore, I guess, can knock off the Mandibuzz. I don't know. I don't know what I can do to this Mandibuzz. Not much, but whatever. So Air Slash Umbreon, knock off Mandibuzz, and Shadow Ball, because we did get the special defense drop, so it'll do just a little bit more. 
You're trying to taunt me, bro? I don't even care. This battle's already over. Whackin' Barry. I don't even think I had anything to hit it super effective. Hey, there you go. There's the flinch, and that means next turn Umbreon's going down, and all we got left is Mandibuzz, which everyone's gonna get a piece of that. And uh, that's gonna that's gonna be a battle. I wanted to finish I wanna finish each one before ten minutes is up, so that way I have time to do three. So hopefully the next battle we can make uh, move a little bit faster. Maybe I'll send out Gengar earlier and get the uh, get the Parish song off. Actually, I think I'm gonna try and air slash the Mandibus so that way it'll be more likely to die. Cause I can hit Umbreon with Earthquake uh, and Shadow Ball. What? It missed? What the hell? And now it gets to use Roost. Okay, this thing... This thing is not making me happy right now. I've been trying to take it out. Alright. Wow! Alright, alright. Gengar's coming out. Gengar's coming out. Nope, 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 nope. I am not about to sit here and let these Pokemon just heal all their health back. They lost, like, faced it already, bro. Hell no. Hell no. Y'all are dying in three turns no matter what. That's that's what this has come to. Hell no, I'm not about to wait around here and have these Pokemon just keep on healing like that. Alright. Let's knock off Umbreon because I know it still has an item. Let's Shadow Ball Mandibuzz. Maybe it'll die. If it doesn't use Roost, that is. I don't even care if Gengar dies when it gets sent out. I doubt that's going to happen. I doubt they're going for a dark move. Um, I figured they were just going to go for Encore again. Was that Flatter? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> These people, man. These people. Yeah, try using that on Sableye, my good man. So, uh, Mandibuzz is dying to poison. I'm still using Parish Song, just in case I can't kill this Umbreon in three turns. Because that is ridiculous. Look at how much time I'm having to waste on this thing. They just need to, like, hurry up and realize they lost so long ago. So long ago. <laughs> I could Parish Song and then I could even disable their move. So I'm going to knock off Umbreon again because I didn't knock it off earlier. So Parish Song, going to die in three turns. I actually hope Umbreon uses Moonlight so that way I can disable it because I don't want to even have to deal with that. And actually, screw Glasgore, you are doing nothing for me right now. You are just hitting yourself nonstop. So I'm going to switch out Glasgore for uh, Togekiss. So I can attempt to uh, para flinch it, and I'm actually going to move Gengar into uh, Glyscore's area. Switch out to Togekiss and Shadow Ball. This might end up getting Gengar killed, but whatever. I don't actually need Gengar. It would just be nicer be able to hit Umbreon with all three of my Pokemon. And I'm sure it's coming at Gengar. Oh, no, that's Sableye. Okay, then. Alright, then. I'm just gonna let Togekiss, like, do its thing and just die to Toxic. Because Umbreon, I, it's dying to Parish Song anyways. See, look at how long this took for no reason. This was supposed to be over, like, four minutes ago. But no, they just wanna, they just wanna, you know, mess it all up. Icy Wind, Shadow Ball, Air Slash, Flinch. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't even know why you're still here, brah. Brah! And you didn't flinch or get paralyzed. It doesn't even matter. First off, wow, you didn't even kill me. Second, you're gonna die now. Either the next turn or the turn after the Parish Song. Whatever you want to call it, man. Oh my gosh. Look at look at these people in the Battle Mason. That's so annoying. They just don't know when to quit. 
There you go. Get out. You lost. That's it. Game over. Game over. You tried, but not really. You didn't have a chance like such a long time ago. Alright. Finally. Hell no. We're still doing three battles. I don't care. I'm not going to let this random guy who took up way too much time make it so we don't get to enjoy three battles. Let's go. Battle number nine. The battles continue forever. Welcome to the world with no ends. Oh my gosh. You do realize you're a child. No, this is terrifying. Best between Miltank and what? Who is? Oh, Slack King. Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to be fun. Do I have Protect on Togekiss? I do not. Okay. Miltank gets Heal Bell too, doesn't it? I'm going to knock off Miltank's item. And hell yeah, I'm getting Reflect up. Uh, you can go first all you want. Hell no! Wait, Miltank used what? On Vespi Queen? I figured you would've used it on Miltank. Um... Alright. Alright, so damage... Oh my gosh! That was a crit? Come on now. Whatever. I can roost next turn, don't have to worry about it hitting me. And Glasscore flinched, okay. So I'm going to roost because I don't have to worry about slacking this turn and next turn I can punch it. So so roost, um, knock off mill tank and thunder wave mill tank. And then I'll, I'll worry about Vespa Queen. Yeah, get out of here with all that. Wait, what? Mill tank used helping hand? Okay. I mean, these Pokemon can helping hand all day long, but... Oh, and there was the item, of course. It's still getting paralyzed next turn, bro. Don't think you're not. I mean, knockoff's not going to do anything now, but whatever. <laughs> alright, alright. So, let's try and flinch the slacking, hopefully. I mean, it got a crit on me last time with the Rock Slide, so we know it, it won't do as much anyways. Um... And then I want to say, I want to say, screw it. Let's just go for a, uh, let's go for earthquake, and then thunder wave on Miltank. Yeah. Oh, Slack ain't trying to be powerful. I really hope it doesn't. I really hope it flinches. Get it. All right, not bad. Then we get the earthquake off. There you go. Defend order. Oh, it's it's setting up. So I need to use taunt on that uh Vespa Queen. And slacking flinched! Hey! Um, so I'm actually just gonna take advantage of Truant and not even attack it on those turns. So we can attack Miltank, we could taunt the Vespa Queen. Um, we can also Thunder Wave the Vespa Queen now. There you go. I mean I could just air slash the Vespa Queen and call it a day, but I'm honestly not worried about Vespi Queen right now. The defend order, helping hand, toxic, and then attack order, I'm sure, or something like that. Basically, all of its moves are uh, status moves. So now, same thing again. Air Slash, Earthquake, and that'll take out a lot. Um, and then here, I guess I'll set up Light Screen. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but whatever. Klefki has nothing else to do this turn. If Light Screen was already up, I would have just switched it out right now. Like Tisha Dinger or something. So, uh, Slacking is dead. Miltank is dead. There you go. That's teamwork right there. Teamwork! Oh, it has no moves left! <laughs> All of its moves are status moves. Well, you are stupid, Vespi Queen. Oh, a Porygon, too. Oh, never mind. I thought. It was Porygon Z for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Need to get the, uh... Yeah. I need to paralyze Pinsir. Uh, I think I'm faster than Porygon 2, so I'm gonna try and, uh... Status it. And then... 
I think struggle hit Shedinja. So I'm just gonna go out into Sableye. Cause I don't wanna risk it just in case. Cause Sableye looks like it could do good against some of these Pokemon. Alright, so we paralyzed the Pinsir. Hopefully we're faster than Porygon 2 to taunt it. Hey, Pinsir was paralyzed. And we do taunt the Porygon 2. I know it could have Ice Beam, but I'd rather... Oh, it has Blizzard. Okay, well, we did get Light Screen up, so we are going to be able to take that. And, wow, Togekiss is frozen. Well, that's a uh, an interesting little turn of events. Alright, so here... Togekiss wasn't status, that'd be nice. Because then I can try and flinch the pincer. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I should stay in. Glasgow is kind of worth not losing. Alright, I'm going to try and switch out into Shedinja. Uh, for, in case it wants to go for Blizzard again. I'm cool with that. And then uh, burn the Porygon too. You gonna struggle before everybody else? And please don't go after Shedinja. I mean, it could still hit Sableye. Alright, come on now. Let's do it. Will O Wisp actually hit it this time. Not bad. And Vespi Queen used Toxic, not on me. Damn it, I'm still frozen. So I don't get hit by Blizzard. So the only one that gets hit by it is Togekiss. That sucks, but at least I could take it. And this pincer is just loving being paralyzed. So, that's kinda cool. <laughs> I don't know what this Porygon 2 has that could potentially hit Shedinja. I'm hoping nothing. Alright, come on, Togekiss. I, I need you to pull through. I need you to pull through here. And I'm actually gonna go after Porygon 2. Um, and I actually, I can't even hit it with anything. I guess I'll start going after Vespi Queen now. And Togekiss is still frozen, of course. Damn it! Oh my gosh. Damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot it had download. So what got uh what got boosted? It's special attack or physical? I don't even know. What? What? How did Bug Bite hit me? Oh well, I'm dead this turn. Uh, that sucks. You know, Togekiss, if you could just kind of unfreeze, that would be a beautiful, a beautiful thing. Alright, alright. Oh, Taunt War Off and Reflect War Off. Alright. Things are getting sketchy here. Like, Togekiss needs to stop being frozen. That's really what I need. Um... I'll just go for Reflect. Uh, Shadow Ball Vespi Queen, I guess. What? Oh my gosh. Alright, that thing needs to be taunted. I can't even hit Porygon, too. Granted, it could die to, uh... Um... Yeah. You really think that's about to work on me, bro? No. Please do not think you're about to hit me with Zap Cannon. Really really don't think that. Alright. Fly score, switch on out with Togekiss. Um, I guess foul play on Porygon 2? I don't know. I need to take out this Porygon 2 because I can't touch it. I mean, I could perish song. That's always a thing. But, I'm really trying not to do that. Alright, and this battle is coming on about 10 minutes now. So, should be over about now. It's not, but whatever. Oh. Well, they want to go and have Brick Break. Oh my gosh, this Vespi Queen. Now another Pokemon that's just being extremely annoying. Yo, screw this. Let's go, Gengar. How many Pokemon do I have left? Not enough to switch out everybody, so someone's gonna have to die. Alright. Actually, Gengar can hit all these Pokemon. 
So... I wish I had Taunt to hit uh, Vespi Queen. But I'm going to go for Icy Wind and Shadow Ball. I don't know, maybe Vespi Queen will be paralyzed. Icy Wind should take out Porygon too. There you go. Hit Vespi Queen for super effective. Lower the speed. Still got potential paralysis. Um, I'm assuming they can't one-shot me with something. So then next turn, I can come out and use... Uh, oh, Pincers using Swords Dance. Alright, so we're going to have to get this Harris Song off. All these Pokemon are just setting up like crazy. If I had Togekiss, that wouldn't be an issue, but... As it stands, it is. A Scavalier, that is something I need to burn. And... I don't know. Earthquake, it won't hit Gengar. We'll be good. So let's hit up this Parish Song. Let's go for Will-O-Wisp on a Scavalier. I should be faster than everybody, so no matter what, Parish Song is happening. Get the Earthquake off. Hopefully get some decent damage out. I mean, I know both of them are resisted pretty well. So, Pinsir is definitely a threat right now. And wow, Escavalier is back up to normal attack. What did it use? Brick Break. Hello? Do you even have anything to hit anybody? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. Um, I'm going to go for Icy Wind on Pinsir, or everyone. And I'm going to go for Taunt on uh, Escavalier. In case it's trying to use Swords Dance again. Actually, no, I'm going to go for Icy Wind because it'll take out a uh, Vespi Queen if it manages to go through. Alright, let's do it. There you go. So Vespi Queen along with the Shadow Ball should not be an issue anymore. I'm really hoping. <laughs> Alright, Shadow Ball, just take it out. Thank you. Cheers. That Vespi Queen wasn't even doing anything. Alright, Mega Horn. That's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. And Pinsir used Thrash. I should be able to take that. Okay, never mind. But Pinsir's about to die uh, as well, so that's interesting. Um, so I need to take out Pokemon, basically. Um, I'm going to attempt to Thunder Wave. Or not Thunder Wave, what the hell? Attempt to air slash the Scavalier. Pincer will die to Icy Wind and Sableye. I'm just gonna go for uh, Shadow Ball. So Pincer goes down. The Scavalier still run around. This this is gonna be a long episode. Oh, finally! Thank you, Togekiss. That is what we needed. Um, I mean, you do you, but you're kind of dead, bro. <laughs> GG! Didn't even need the Parish Song. They were getting awfully uh, scary with them Swords Dances, though. That was a scary team. I just remember they started off with like Slacking and Miltank, and then had two Swords Dancing Pokemon. They, they were ready. They were ready to take some lives right there. Alright. Mini Skirts are like unbelievable, right? They totally are. <laughs> what is wrong with these people in Battle Mason? Okay. I'm kind of regretting this now. This just got real. This just got real, people. Holy crap. Porygon. Porygon Z. Knock off. Light screen, please Tauros, don't kill. Oh, thank you. You're stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Main concern, Porygon Z. Without a doubt. That thing is just waiting to smack somebody down. Alright, knock off. There you go. Hold that. Wise glasses, of course. 
misty terrain, so fairy types can't be paralyzed, right? That's all that is. And uh, I guess that's fine. All right, all right. Now we can we can focus on some things. All right. So, um, air slash. Mm, knock off Tauros. Thunderwave Tauros. Nah, you need to chill with all that. Wait, what? Oh, crap. I'm sorry, Klefki. Alright, I need to get that, uh... Well, Porygon Z is down. I need to get Reflect up. Oh, so none of them can be paralyzed. That's not fun. That is not fun. Alright, I'm gonna taunt the Sylveon, because it's using too much. Uh, I hope it goes for Earthquake again. Because that doesn't even hit two of my Pokemon. A boop one! Oh my gosh. Alright, so it can't be status. Um, I'm gonna go for Air Slash on Bouplon just because that's the one that I don't know what it's packing. And uh, we're gonna get Reflect off. If I can happen to survive, holy crap, stop doing that. Um, I can go for Foul Play on Tauros. Oh, there's the Earthquake. So that's gonna power up to hit Sylveon and Bouplon too. So, I mean, I guess by all means you're kind of killing yourself. And I'm going to taunt Sylveon so it can't use any kind of healing move next turn. If that's what it's trying to do. And Bufalon flinches! Oh, yes. We are pulling through right now. Alright, uh, let's see. I might actually switch out to Gengar. Since they're going to be out of Pokemon soon. And Earthquake won't hit, a normal move won't hit, and I could probably just take out Sylveon. Um... I think I'm going to go for Air Slash on Bouffalant, just take it out. And go for Earthquake with Gliscor. And, oh, I didn't think about that. Hopefully Icy Wind will take out Sylveon. <clears throat> if not, I'm faster with Gliscor, hopefully. So far it's been using, like, priority moves. So I'm assuming I'll outspeed. Substitute, hello? Alright. No, it survived. Oh, good. We're faster. So Earthquake's gonna take it out. Uh, should take out Sylveon. And there you go. Uh, we are... I don't even think we need Parish Song. How many Pokemon they have left? A dead Tauros. <laughs> and then... What? One more? Or two more? They still got two. Miltank. And Lopunny. Oh, okay, they did. Damn, the normal types. Alright, I'm gonna assume that Low Pony has Limber and that I can't paralyze it, so I'm just gonna go straight for Air Slash. Um, I'm gonna go for Earthquake just to try and take out Tauros. And then uh, Icy Wind. <clears throat> Can you stop with all that? Oh, okay. Well, I really hope Tauros isn't trying to use Earthquake because that is hitting none of my Pokemon. It, it did use Earthquake! Oh wait, no, that was me. Okay. I was gonna say, what the hell? This Tauros is so stupid. It's dead now, though. <laughs> so no worries. No worries anymore. Alright. So now... We can get to the real fun. Alright, let's Air Slash Low Punny. Let's uh, knock off Low Punny. And... I mean, let's Perish Song anyways, even though we don't have to. I don't know what these Pokemon are trying to do, and I don't want them to get any more stally than they already have been. And we're coming on 35 minutes, so this episode may just be only, uh, only like 5 minutes longer than it should have been, because this last battle, man, we just, we just flew right on through this one. <laughs> Not bad. I was scared. I was. That was some, some competitive, uh... Pokemans we were seeing right there but I think the worrying is over I mean this team is just uh, a little too solid no what I'm trying to use air slash hello air slash uh, knockoff sure disable your body slam cuz I can oh okay then 
I guess that too. Man, I wish I could have taunted it and then disabled Body Slam because I think that's the only attacking move it's got. Oh no, Lumberry for you! Ah. <laughs> and uh, that's that's gonna be a good game. I'll use Knock Off again just cause Icy Wind later, bro. There you go. Finally up in these double digits. That's what I like to see. Uh, not even bad. Not even bad. Hey. Current win streak, 11. Well, I mean 10. We haven't won 11. But we're at 11. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any suggestions on how to make the team even more powerful, go ahead and leave them down below. Or if you think... Also, I want to say, if you think I should leave the team the same, say that too, because I'm kind of I'm kind of digging this team. I'm, the only reason I'm really looking for changes is to keep it, keep it fresh, you know? So, uh, yeah, that being said, if you enjoyed... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, leave a like, and if you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel, where I upload multiple videos every single day. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, where I post first-hand information on when I upload videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel, keep on watching, and I'll see you guys next time.